Our second task will be to open up a document, a pre-existing document from Photoshop. So we're going to do that by going to File and selecting Open. From there, we'll use the navigation bar here on the left-hand side and select Desktop. You'll be given this folder, which will hold the contents of some of the things that we will be doing in our case here. It'll be opening up the Chapter 1 folder located within this Photoshop folder. It'll be handed out with the USB device. So once we save this document to the desktop, we go to Photoshop and open it up from there. Navigate to Chapter 1. And then we start off by selecting Photoshop 1 slash 1. Select that. We can double click on it or we can hit Open. Once you've done that, you should see this document open up. It's a Photoshop document, so you can see the layers here on the right hand side. We'll talk about that more later on. But right now, all we have to do, now that we have opened up this document, we are going to save it as task two. So we go to File, Save As. Make sure we navigate to the desktop. That is where we are saving all of our work for now until we can back it up later on. And we're going through the same process. My first name, last initial, and this one's going to be task number two. We're going to save that as a Photoshop document, leave it as it is for now, and then we save it. Don't worry about this. Most of you will get this op or most of you will get this pop-up box. If you don't want it to show again, just select don't show again and hit OK. There's really nothing here that we have to worry about. I'm going to select that. I'm going to collapse my window here. And there we go. You're going to do the same thing with the butterfly image that is there. We'll go to File, Open, Photoshop, Chapter 1. Locate the butterfly image, open it up. Going to go to File, Save As, navigate to Desktop because that is where we are currently saving our files. Going to make sure that this is labeled R O B I N L Task 03. Switch that from TIFF, as you can see, to Photoshop. And then we will save it from there. So these are just little tasks in getting you used to opening documents and saving documents, as well as creating documents. So task one, task two, task three, that is where we are currently at so far.